Builders coming at it. Bowler over on the far side. Bowler just in front. Rocket Horse is in for the fight. Bowler and Rocket Horse, they hit it. Bowler! Welcome to this week's edition of the Final Gallop. It is episode 260 and is proudly supported by the Brisbane Airport Hotels Group and Play Up. This week we're going to preview our six runners for Derby Day. Uh, the meeting at Eagle Farm on Saturday as the Spring Racing Carnival hits top gear down south. Morning Tony. Uh, you were down at Mooney Valley for Cox Plate Day uh, last week with Antino. Very close second in the Crystal Mile. Yeah, next question. We'll talk about something else I think. <laughs> yeah, no, it was close. Uh, very close. It was obviously a very tactical race, small yeah. field. and. We got caught on the wrong end of some tactics and look, he was still really good. I mean, there's many different opinions out there whether he should have won or he should not have won, but it won't change no. the result. Um, the horse raced really well and most importantly, he's come through it great. Obviously, he had a very soft run in the mid stages and mm -hmm. he was able to sprint strongly late. He ran the quickest half mile, quickest 400 and quickest 200. So his sectionals are good. He's in good order. He's just landed in Sydney this morning. Okay. Here he fit well and healthy en route uh, to a crack at the Five Diamonds at Rose Hill Saturday week. Okay, back home it was our st uh, the, for the stable at Doombin last Saturday, Rising Pacific was a was a star making it three wins in a row. Yeah, it's going great, you know, from a horse four starts ago to being <coughs> very unruly and behind yes. them wanting to settle and a few little gear changes and, and just um, some patience at home here and he's done a great job. He's, he's won three in a row and, he, and I suggest he's a really progressive horse. This. You know, around Doom and that tight track over the mile, he was exposed all the way on a day where there was no advantage to be exposed. He was good through the line and he goes up the Sunshine Coast now for a mile race on that big track in three weeks, three weeks between runs. Um, she's going to take some beating up there. Absolutely. Okay, let's take a look at our six runners at Eagle Farm on Saturday. The rail will be in the five metre position. The track is currently a good four with the possibility of some late showers. Uh, it's been a good track to us of late with five winners and seven place getters from our last 17 runners. Yeah, our track's racing brilliant, you know, whether it's win winner-wise for us or not. I've seen the track's racing really, really well. Um, it gets a bit of a break after Cup Day, I think, for a bit of a reefer, but we galloped on it on Tuesday morning again this week, and it, it, they don't even mark it. It's got a lovely cushion under it. it it's just really everything that we wanted yeah. you know, in this course proper. It's taken a, a, little, a little while to get to where we wanted it, obviously, but... At least it's there now. Yeah, absolutely. I think we just keep looking forwards now, because this, this is a really good facility, a great track now to race on. So, Dooman's done a great job for, for all that period of time yeah. and it's not racing poorly um, but this track they're all getting their chance at Eagle Farm. Race one is the class three handicap which will be run over a thousand metres. Liquor will run 57 kilos. Angela Jones rides from barrier one with play up. She's paying $3.70 to win and $1.35 for the place. Uh, she did win dominantly two starts ago over the Ipswich 800 short course. Fought strongly from the front last start at this track and trip just getting overhauled late. I thought she was pretty unlucky the other day. She jumped really well. Looked as though she was just going to get across easily. And Ange Jones, our, one of our stable riders, just was able to boot up and just hold us at one off fence. Nothing worse than leading a length or so outside yeah. off fence when something's just holding you underneath. So I think CJ Graham had her time again. And we spoke about this post race. Uh, she felt the same, that she should have just crossed Ange early. And if she'd done that, I think we win the race. Yeah. That's, that's then, this is now. The only negative in this race, I think it's actually a bit better race. Okay. This is a good race on Saturday. Some good little, you know, up and coming sort of horses here. Obviously, the horse of Annabelle Nations and the horse of Kelly Swiders, both got really good ability. Um, this filly's going great. She's a real thousand metre short course horse. So yeah. we're drawing low. I think we can just ping and put ourselves on speed. And they're all going to. I think they'll all have to get past us. They yeah. might have other ideas. They might think they're faster. Particularly Kelly's cold. I'm not sure, but. It's an interesting race, it's a good race, mm -hmm. um, but I love these 1,000 metre horses and 1,000 metre races. And yep. I think I said that the other day with her. And, and what we saw at Eagle Farm the other day with her, there's no reason she won't be right there in the finish. Okay. Race two is the two-year-old handicap, also over 1,000 metres, ending sweet. We'll run in this 53 and a half kilos with CJ Graham's two kilo claim. She's drawn barrier five. With play up, she's paying $4.60 to win and a $1.90 for the place. She will be our first two-year-old runner to reach the races this season. A well-bred filly by Lonro. She's a half-sister to the Group 1 winner and leading stallion star witness. And she has impressed from the get-go, including a nice trial second at this track last week. Yeah, she has been impressive all the way along. She's only a wee little soul. Yeah. She's a tiny little filly. She's not overly heavy either, but she's got a, She's really sharp. From the very first time we did anything with her, I think the first run up, she just impressed us. Then we jumped her out on the dirt. She went like she'd done it before. And then the same in her trial the other day. She runs second in a good trial mm -hmm. um, and not fully extended. Yep. CJ Graham's been doing a bit of riding on her, the jump out in that trial. And we worked her on the course proper here on Tuesday morning. and. 
thought she was terrific. She's improved again. So yeah. she appears to be on the upward spiral. Like I said, physically she's not a big big filly, but they haven't got to be. These two-year-olds, no, no. particularly two-year-old fillies, they can overcome all those sort of things. But what she does do well, she begins well. She's got really good speed, and she seems to be able to control that speed. And I've got no worries with her at the 1,000. Okay. Race three is the Class 6 handicap over 1,825 metres. Fifth position will start. 57 kilos, Ben Thompson rides barrier three. $3.90 to win and a $1.95 at the moment with play up. He hasn't been far away in all of his four starts since joining our stable in August. He does drop back to the 1,825 after his last start third over 2,200 metres here three weeks ago. Yeah, look, he's, he's typical of these horses in this race. They take their turns, but the nice low draw, if he can just take it a bit of cover and relax, he can dash on them well. He's in great order, the horse. He's had a long prep, but you wouldn't know looking at him. He's mm -hmm. holding great weight. Um, I've just done a, little, a slight gear change with him with a crossover nose band on, just to bring him back a little bit. Even though he's been settling in a nice position, he's just not relaxed as much as I'd want. So if that can just get him to drop the bridle and relax that touch more, I think he can have that better turn of foot. But there's no doubt he's found his right race. He can be very competitive here. Any one or two or three could win this race, and he's certainly one of them. Okay. Race four is the three-year-old handicap over 1,400 metres. We will have Felix the Scat, who's watching on behind us there, running in this race with 58.5 kilos. Angela Jones will ride him, barrier three. With play up, Felix is paying $9.50 to win and $2.70 for the place. He is a newcomer to our stable, and he was an impressive two-year-old for his previous yard last season. Nice trial uh, a couple of weeks ago behind a bounding, which franked that form with a nice win at Doombin last week. Yeah, she won well last week at Bounding. This horse is coming along really well. I'm happy with his progression. It's obviously his first time to our, to our stable. It took a little while for him to get used to us and vice versa. I'll be impressed with his two jump outs and trials. They had two over the thousand. His last one, he got back a bit. and Without threatening, he really run through the line well. You'd imagine seven furlong big track suits him. Yeah. Um, he appears to be in really good shape for his first up run over the back there. He's a pretty happy, healthy big fella. So mm -hmm. in a race, I don't think anyone I think the market will change a lot. I think he's in about seven bucks even maybe now, but mm -hmm. the market will continue to change in this race. Um, but I think he's as good a chance as any in a very open three-year-old race. I, I quite like him. I'll learn a bit more with him under race conditions on Saturday. Yeah. Um, but he's a horse I quite like, and I think as we get him out in trip throughout this summer, we might see a nice little stayer. Okay. Race six is the benchmark 70 handicap over 1,300 metres. Madame Odette will start in this. She will have Ryan Maloney riding her with 58 kilos. She's drawn barrier nine with play up. She is paying $4.20 to win and $1.80 for the place. She's also first up on Saturday and she was a stakes place getter last season, second up over the mile. She will improve off this run, but she did look impressive through the line in a thousand metre trial last week. Yeah, she's been good. I mean, both her trials and her trials jump out have been terrific. I've had a great prep with her. She seems good. This Eagle Farm track will suit her. It's got a bit of cushion in it now. Mm -hmm. Um, Maloney or Sudi rode her here on the course proper Tuesday morning and here and she feels as good as what okay. as what she's felt, particularly ready for this first up run. She's a, a mare that we sort of earmark for races throughout the summer carnival. So with that in mind, I think we're at the right distance range for a fresh up. I, I expect okay. her to be very competitive here. I think she's equal favourite in the market and I think rightfully so. She's she's better than this than this, this, this Saturday grade sort of racing. So with a nice summer ahead of her, I'd expect her to be around the money for a sharp. Okay. Race 7 is the Benchmark 68 handicap and it will be run over a mile. Tenzing runs 58 and a half kilos. Ben Thompson will ride him. Tenzing has drawn a barrier 2 with play up. He's paying $3.50 to win and $1.50 for the place. He's placed third at his past four starts but is reducing the margin each run. He does, <laughs> don't think that really counts, um, but he does drop back a furlong for this and drawn kindly. He's the bookies pin up this bloke. Yeah, um, look, he'll run top three. I love the fact he's drawn the good gate here. He'll just lob on the back of the speed. It's all about getting that soft run and just being able to sprint that last 300. He's only got the short sprint, timing him well, I think back to the mile, very suitable. I think he'll race a lot closer than what we've seen, I think he'll just sit on the back of them, mm -hmm. and he should have that well-timed sprint. He does look well-placed. Don't want to take the favourite, the short odds with him. Someone, they've already backed him already. Yeah. Um, look, probably not, I want to see him do it, but he's yep. very fit, well and healthy, the horse. I, I can't fold him. Back to the mile, a great plus, and that low draw, very important for him on Saturday. We are into the final furlong of this week's final gallop. Who do you think your best winning chance at Eagle Farm on Saturday is? I'm going to go pretty early in the meeting. Okay. Uh, I, I could say liquor, yep. um, but I'm going to go ending sweet. Okay. Like this little filly. Yep. Um, she she's won't She won't be the biggest and strongest horse in the yard, but she's very well prepared for this. And very professional. Yeah, very professional little two-year-old. She's got really good speed. So 
I think what we've seen of the two-year-old so far, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable she can run really well here. Okay, your best H-way chance? Uh, I'm going to go with this bike here. Felix? Felix the Scat. I, I don't know a whole bunch about him yet, and I must admit, he did come to me in very good condition. Uh, on her more after Saturday, but I think it was $7 or maybe $9, whatever. That market's very changing. Um, I like him each way. I can't see him running a bad race at Eagle Farm. Last time he was in this type of grade, he was a good second here, yeah. and then he won before that in this similarish grade. So I think it's the right grade for him. Okay. You're best at the provincials. We've got Ipswich Friday, Bow Desert Saturday, and Toowoomba Saturday night. I'm going to go Toowoomba Saturday night, Bold Hoi Ho. Okay. Um, he got a really ordinary run at, at Ipswich in a messy, messy race the other day. He's going better than that. I still thought he stuck to the task all right. Step to 1300. Um, I think he's come back in greater touch. I like I like him up at Toowoomba. Okay, your best track worker this week? Best track worker this week. Uh, he galloped really well in a pair. Yep. Um, I like the liquor out there as well. A little fifth position out on the course proper with that crossover nose band on. I thought he was really, really good. So okay. fifth position for me, uh, and he could easily win on Saturday too, but I just don't want to scare him into thinking <laughs> I've tipped him. So okay. um, I thought fifth position was as good as anything out there. Okay, a couple uh, of black bookers from the Deegan trials. We had a few go around there on Tuesday. Well, Zrastro sort of does himself. Yeah. Um, he, he was really good. All those older horses that are going for those different sorts of races throughout the summer were, were quite good yeah. where they're at. Um, I really like, obviously, the filly. and we always talk about her, Barbie's yeah. sister. Yes. She and she's Barbie's sister. sister. She's a yeah. full sister to Outback Barbie. I probably like, I liked her. I mean, she was very obvious, um, just got out, jumped and run, and we'll get to see her hopefully get to the races in a couple of weeks' time. And, She's pretty exciting for the stable. Okay, and your performance uh, for the week from the stable? Oh, I was going to say Antino again. He's just so bloody tough. Yep. He's not going right. But no, we'll go with um, we'll go with the winner, I think, this week. It'll Rising be um, Pacific. Rising Pacific. Yeah, I just love the way that he's evolving throughout the prep. He had to do it really tough that day. Yeah. There won't see many tougher wins around Doom than that. So Rising Pacific for me. Nice tough win. Okay, and looking ahead to the Melbourne Cup Day meeting, uh, we've got a few going around at Eagle Farm there. Any to keep an eye out for? There's a bunch of horses going around there and a few horses we really quite like, but Sunset Soiree looks okay. well placed there. Back to class 4, 1800. Yep. And I prefer minis out to the mile and a half. So we're Indeed. not noted for having a bunch of staying horses no. in our rank, but we've got more sprinter milers, but I think we can, um, possibly trouble the Wallace Stable in a few of those staying races there on Tuesday. Let's hope so. Okay, now courtesy of Playup, it is time for the Stable special offer, and this week it is $5 for Felix, the scat to run top two. What are your thoughts on that one? Well, when he was $12 in the market, I thought it was pretty stingy, but now he's sort of around the seven bucks. I think $5 for run top two is a really good bet now. Um, so I can't see why he wouldn't run well in this grade. You know, it depends what form line you like here, mm -hmm. but he's got that good Saturday form at this level. Yep. He went to the went to those group races, but he, he'd had a hard run in Sydney before yeah. that. So I think his Brisbane runs at this level, he'd been really good. And I can't see why he wouldn't be really good this weekend. Now it is time for Cavs Corner, which is supported by the Brisbane Airport Hotels Group. We'll just forget his multi last week. His first leg went down and then his second leg was scratched. But I'm sure, I'm not sure, that he'll be back with a bang this week. Uh, welcome to Cavs Corner for this week. Uh, this week we'll venture to Bow Desert. White Ribbon, hopefully draws an alley, a win, and then we'll venture up the hill to Toowoomba. Uh, bold hoy ho with Beetleman Allen on it. Good punting, guys. So he's gone White Ribbon a win at Bow Desert into Bold hoy ho a win at Toowoomba. He's gone back to the provincial. Oh, he's gone wide. He's gone, he's very gone out wide. wide. Bow Desert. Bow Desert and T-Bar. Well, T-Bar's been, Toowoomba's been a pretty happy hunting ground yeah. for us late, but look, no doubt something will jump up there and give us a good run for our money on the weekend. Yeah. But look, I don't mind his multi. Yeah. Um, I'm surprised he's gone away from the city because we have some terrific chances here at Eagle Farm. Mm -hmm. But look, I'm, I'm not going to try and get into the mind of uh, one Craig, Anthony, Mark Buffel on your Kavanaugh, that's for sure. No, I think you'd be mentally scarred if you did that. Absolutely. Okay, good luck at Eagle Farm on Saturday, Tony, and then a big Melbourne Cup race day at Eagle Farm on Tuesday. Yeah, great time of the year, Derby Day. It used to, it well, still is, I guess, yep. the traditionalist great day okay. of the year. We've had a lot of changes to the Spring Carnival. Mm -hmm. I'm probably more warming to Champions Day now, they call it Stakes yeah, Day, yeah, the last yeah, day of the Carnival is, is my pick, but Coolmore, big race on Sunday for the three-year-olds. You know, the Derby, then Tuesday we've got the Carp oh, and the O's. Yeah. It's just a great week, isn't it? it? Is. I know we won't wonderful. be down there this week because we've shifted our base to, to Sydney now, but it's a great week. And I think anyone, everyone who likes racing a little bit, 
this is kind of that, that one of the weeks of the year that you certainly look forward to. Absolutely. Best of luck to everyone over the whole weekend.